Today's video is going to be about the fuel pressure sensors from this Volkswagen Hybrid with a 1.4 liter gasoline engine. And we've got two fuel pressure sensors and we're going to see as well how to read the live data. We're going to check the voltage values of the connectors from the sensors. So let's see first where they are located. Use some pliers to remove these hose clamps and then you're going to be able to take out this intake pipe. Then remove this PCV hose and the air filter housing should be free as well. So right here we've got the high pressure fuel pump with one of the fuel pressure sensors and then we've got the pressure sensor on the fuel rail which is located under the intake manifold. So this sensor is going to be basically the feedback of the low pressure fuel pump. So first let's check this screenshot of live data I took. It's important to have the car driving and the engine is under a load because then you're going to get different results from all the sensors well except of the camshaft position sensor for example. So with blue line we've got the fuel rail pressure. So this is the sensor which is attached to the fuel rail, not the one attached to the high pressure fuel pump. The load value was stable, then when the load value increased, also the pressure increased and this is what you want to see when the engine is under a load, it's going to consume more fuel. The high pressure fuel pump should keep up with that. And as you can see the engine RPM is steady and that's why I said it's important to have the engine under a load. Another important thing you want to see, this is a hybrid car so it means the engine will be on and off when you drive the car. So we've got here the engine off and you can see here the fuel rail pressure did not decrease, it's steady and this is what you want to see because for example if you have a leak then this pressure will decrease like gradually or even suddenly that's going to be the worst situation. So in that situation you probably have the fuel pump leaking or some gaskets by the injectors. Now let's see another example here and you can see how the fuel pressure goes together basically with the load value. And another thing you'll notice that first the engine load value will increase and then slightly after you're going to see the fuel pressure increase as well. And then at the end here when the load value decreases then you're going to see the fuel pressure decrease as well and come back to the idling spec, let's say like that. So yeah, this is pretty much it you can see on the live data. Now if you look inside the fuse box, you're going to find the fuel pump fuse, which is right here. You can connect, for example, a test light to the ground, which is right here. Now the ignition is on and you can test up the fuses. Now since we've got the ignition on, let's check the voltage values from the connectors. Let's see first this one, but let's unplug as well the map sensor, take out this clip and let's see there are just two pins and we've got 9.58 volts and one quick tip is to have the hybrid battery charged up let's say at least 10 kilometers of range so in that way you'll avoid discharging too much let's plug back these sensors this one is going to be a little bit challenging we've got three wires here i'm going to keep the connector with the clip on top let's see between one and two nothing one and three we've got five volts now let's see between the middle one and this one on the right we've got 4.98 volts so these are pretty standard values you can read now if you want to remove the sensor from here i think you're going to need a 27 millimeter i think it's more complicated to remove the connector than to remove the sensor and for this one i think you're going to need the same size next i'm going to actually check if i can read the values from this sensor if i do i will put it here if not thanks for watching take care and i will see you in the next video